Royal Taxation, plenty of their own accolades and accomplishments. Gino, I'm going to beat your ass, and I'm going to take your title. And that's reality. That's something you have to live with. That's something that has to eat away at your stomach for the next couple of months, knowing that you have to step in the ring with me. I'm a walking war flick. I have nothing to lose and everything to gain. That's dangerous, man. I am dangerous. February 6th, you know, if you haven't seen what I've done at RCW, go back and take a look. I'm sure I'm in trouble. I'm going to beat the living out of you and take the RCW title. There ain't a damn thing you can do about it. Are you guys ready for the main event tonight? I didn't hear you guys. This is the 20 year anniversary. Are you guys ready for the main event tonight? This event is scheduled for one fall. one fall. We do have a special belt presenter tonight for our 20 year anniversary. Give it up for Christy Fuentes with 99.5 Kiss. Well, this is quite special. Christy Fuentes, former professional wrestler, now radio personality here in San Antonio, part of the Billy Madison Show. Did you miss me? Honestly, I miss all of you. Look, at 20 years, Brandon Oliver and his team, I gotta congratulate you. 20 years on a vision and maintaining that, that is huge. And I gotta say something. You guys are absolutely the best because in my time in RCW, whether you were cheering me or booing me and you booed me a whole lot, you always did it with passion, with conviction, and you did it at the top of your lungs. So I want to say thank you to all of you for that and let me be part of RCW. Now this old dog's gonna shut up because it's time for the main event. Here comes the Challenger Sledge with one of the biggest opportunities of his entire wrestling career. And at this time, I'd like to welcome Chris Fuentes to our broadcast table. Great to be here, part of a big night for RCW. Sledge is all focus, all determination in this main event matchup here at RCW 20. He wants to become the RCW champion. He is laser focused and he is angry. He's an angry man. He made quick work of his opponent, using a ton of power and an impressive array of moves in his RCW debut on our previous show. And already at the top, going for the title. Certainly a spot that he earned after his last match. Well, not only that, all the work that he's done at Ring of Honor, and now that it's in a, in a hiatus, you could say, I mean, he's got to take those talents elsewhere, and what better place to take them but to RCW, especially if he can become our RCW champion here tonight. And I also have to extend a, a welcome to the press. I got to say, it's finally, it's finally great to be here with someone else who brings some class and, and great composure to the announce desk. It's really hard carrying that water here by myself, and I'm glad you're here. Well, I've heard the commentary, and you do pull a lot of it. It's, uh, it's great so that it's we great. finally have a professional broadcaster. It's great well, that we finally... Well, thank you. Thank you as well. Yeah. i got to say something about Sledge being in the back, though. You stay away from a guy like that, even in the back. I would not want to be in the ring with this guy right now, and I do not. I do not envy Gino Medina. Hey, I wouldn't want to be in the ring with Gino Medina either. We have seen just how devious he can be with that steel chair. Whether it's winning the championship or retaining the championship, he never does it clean. So you know that's what you got going in. And Sledge is not backing down. He's giving him no quarter. He's owning the ring right now. I mean, as, as much as Sledge could try and intimidate Gino Medina right now, though, 
Otis still holding that title after a three-man three match, a triple threat against Mysterious Q and Khan. So, I mean, he's not short of any confidence. He's certainly not going to be intimidated by even the presence of a guy like Slay. Tell in their eyes that their hatred goes beyond the RCW championship. That Ladies belt and cannot gentlemen, even be for the in there RCW championship match main event, weighing in at 260 pounds from San Luis Obispo, California, from the Ring of Honor, introducing the Metalhead Maniac Sledge. And the opponent and RCW champion from Monterrey, Mexico, weighing in at 220 pounds. Give it up for the RCW champion, Gino Medina. Que la viva Mexico, Monterrey. Sledge with an obvious size advantage, but I don't think that that's going to rock Gino Medina at all. I mean, you have to keep in mind the man who he was able to beat to get that championship, Falaba, had a massive size advantage. You know Gino Medina being a second-generation luchador, he's going to have a game plan coming into this match. My guess is it's going to involve that red steel chair, but we'll see. Here we go. Well, the a little, some mind games to start off this match. Bell rings and neither of them moves from their corner. I love it. Who do you give the advantage to in this match, Chris? I, I, you know, I got to say, I got to give it to Sledge. You know, you mentioned uh, Medina is a second generation wrestler. We don't know a lot of history about Sledge. I mean, I don't, do you? I'm scared of his history, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, the people on Wikipedia I, can only write so I, much. I will say, I, I tried to I tried to talk to him before the match and ask him a few questions, but all I got were some were some grunts and heavy breathing in response. So I can understand why, you know, it's kind of hard to get to know the guy a little bit. Going behind, Sledge breaking the grip. Controlling the wrist. Sledge doing the smart thing early in this matchup, establishing that power game, letting Gino know that. Oh, and now pulling at the hair. I feel like we're going to see a lot of rules being either bent or broken in this main event matchup. Disrespecting the man bun. Medina with the shoulder tackle could not take Sledge off of his feet. Sledge comes in. And Medina using that momentum, keeping it going. I mean, standing toe to toe with Sledge is a pretty impressive show of power for Medina as well. Medina. He's letting Sledge know, hey, you're not the only strong one in this ring. I like this, this is two big bulls locking horns. This is my kind of main event, Medina, standing switch, comes off the rope, Sledge, bypass with the drop down. Up and down goes the champion. And I gotta say, it's it's certainly something that we saw in his previous matchup. Sledge isn't just a power guy. He's got a, some impressive agility as you see him flying around the ring and handling Medina the way he does. He's not just a power guy. He's got more than his arsenal than you may realize when you first take a look at him. So I think that's one of the things that makes him so scary. He's not just going to overpower you. He, he can jump around and fly around the ring, too. Oh, yeah, he's got the best of both worlds, including an intimidation factor. But it doesn't seem to be working on Gino. I mean, Gino's stepping up, nose to nose. We saw them butt heads just a minute ago. He's not scared. He's not intimidated by Sledge. That's why this match is such a great championship match for the RCW Championship. Devastating chop by wow. Sledge. And you can see the handprints already showing on the chest of Gino Medina, but Gino Medina is answering back. And Sledge wants more! Oh. 
Oh, that chop dropped the champion to his knees. You can hear those chops like they're sitting right next to oh, us. Oh, and look at it, grating his forearm across the forehead of the champion while he's on that second rope as well. Just making it more painful as he fights to get out of that position. When you're doling out that kind of punishment in a spot like that, you know that your opponent means business. This is going to be a tough title to retain for Medina. Or maybe it'll be Sledge's opportunity to make history here at RCW 20. As that history continues when we come back here March 6th and big announcement. Oh, with a oh. dragon screw. That'll tear ligaments in your knee. Gets the DDT on the leg and Sledge. Oh, no, he's in a bad way here. Medina like right. a... Like a shark that smells blood in the water. He's now got his target. That left leg of Slay. Medina doing the smart thing. Working Sledge's leg. Making sure that if he wants to generate any power oh, off no, of no, it, no. he's going to be on. severely handicapped the rest of the match. Oh, no, no, no. He was on the pose. Oh. oh, no. The side of the knee crashing into that pointed steel. Ladies and gentlemen, those oh, are square posts. Shot. Those are square posts. There is a sharp point there, and that could really destroy the bones in your leg. Listen, I, I can't blame Gina. When you're going up against a guy like Sledge, you got to use everything you've got. Sledge, letting him know that the pain isn't gonna stop him from talking or trying to be intimidating. At this point, wow. after, right after taking those hits, you can count on some, a little bit of adrenaline to carry through, but eventually he's gonna settle down and it's gonna hurt to be on that leg. Maestral goes too far, but he's right in position to take advantage oh, of that leg. Yeah, just dole out more punishment to it. Actually now targeting the other leg. Trying he to just, take out the complete base. He just wants to make it painful for Sledge to walk, run, leap, take it back. Like Sledge is now all of a sudden has to just worry about his power, his arsenal basically being cut in half because of the smart strategy by the RCW champion. It might be less than half. I mean, it's hard to deliver any sort of suplexes, do that big blue thunder bomb that he uses to win matches if you can't stand. Right, you and I have both done a lot of fight training in our future, you know that even a punch that you deliver, that force doesn't come from your from your arm or from your hand. It comes from it comes from your hips. Sledge trying to get to his feet, and he does with the help of the ropes. Medina face first in the top turnbuckle, and Sledge trying to build some momentum here. You can already see him sort of laboring and trying to compensate that power with his arms, but. That's allowed Medina to counter a little bit, but... Exploder suplex from Sledge! Oh my goodness. I'm amazed he got enough power in his legs to pull off that move. Chris, this has to be impressive. I'm just watching these guys wondering, okay, first of all, that slam that just happened, I'm sure they felt that all the way downtown San Antonio, right back here. It shook the whole room. These guys, they got these things hanging from the ceilings. Those things shook. You can only imagine the pain Gino Medina must be in right now. Well, nothing is safe as we've seen at this 20th anniversary show. If you're around the ring, you're going to be weaponized. Oh, and now look at that. He's crushing his head up against that post. Oh, that's got to hurt. That is so painful. A little bit of a receipt from what happened earlier with the knee. And that's not a pain that goes away easily. Oh, what, oh no, oh, now he's goes. exposing that metal turnbuckle. He's exposed the metal. Oh, no. No, 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 not oh, that! Oh, not oh, that no, knee. No. Oh, my God! No. A sadistic monster! The champion is tasting steel right now. I have never seen that move. Me either. It takes a, a special kind of evil to think of something like that. Make him literally eat metal, oh my God. Oh, wow. You figure that if, you're, if your legs are taken out of the equation, you can't generate as much power. You gotta find some statistic way to, to gain an advantage and that's exactly what Sledge is doing right here. No, 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 no. Oh! Crashing hard into the barrier. 
which then went into that concrete post. That's a load-bearing post in the middle of the Grand Event Center. There was no give for Gino Medina. And I gotta say, the fans on that side of the on that side of the Grand Event Center have, have seen plenty of punishment over there, but maybe up none close worse, and personal. But maybe yeah. none worse than that. Absolutely, that barrier had been collapsed after getting hit in previous matches, and now all the way up against that post had to hurt the most for Gino Medina. Sledge with evil intent here as well. Crotching him on the top of the metal barrier. Medina still straddling the, the barricade. Oh, wow. He came down hard. I think he missed the padding. I think he came down flush and I, on the wood floor. And I guess this is a no count outs match. Because well, right it's, it's, the ref is just letting things go right now. Maybe just it, in shock at the sadism that Sledge is showing on the outside. It's a main event matchup. We've had an enormous card here. We're going late into the evening. Vance Jackson, the referee who, by the way, was powerbombed earlier tonight. He is making sure that this plays out. He wants to make sure there's a definitive finish inside the ring. I respect that call. Yeah, maybe he's just not all there and maybe just worried about keeping the fans that, That's safe possible than, as well. Rather than possible worried about as well. counting out. Well, now they're back inside the ring. And, that's the only place where this match could be won for Sledge. Listen, guys, I don't think anybody thought that Sledge was going to play by the rules when the match started. I mean, look at this guy. But the referee really does need to take control. This is for the RCW Championship, after you could, all. You could see, look, Sledge just trying to just trying to work that leg and get some blood flowing again so he can move. And again, Medina asking for the pain, asking for the chop, saying, bring it on, big man. Champion with a series of forearms. Sledge trying to answer with a clothesline, but they meet in the middle. I tell you, Medina showing off that he eats steel for breakfast and that... Almost and literally had yeah, it for yeah, dinner tonight. Not having, to, <laughs> not having to get off his game after taking that punishment on the on that exposed steel in the ring. Hook kick does not take Sledge off his feet. If anything, it's just angered this man. This maniacal man looking for a vertical suplex. Medina gets the reversal. Oh, oh here we go. Well, we see the hat trick. Is he gonna pull off the trifecta? Oh, Into the buckle with the three amigos. In the worst way possible. Wow. You can see the damage that's been done to the champion on his chest. Handprints all over it. You, you can just, you can also tell that Sledge certainly taking some punishment, even more to his legs. And Medina had to know that he was weakening Sledge even more by putting him into the turnbuckle like that. Rising knee strike, dazing the challenger, still on his feet. Picks him up oh. on a belly to belly into the turnbuckles. This that looked especially painful for Medina. Looked like his leg got caught on the top turnbuckle or the rope. He might have an ankle or Achilles injury. Dangerous, very dangerous. And now we're in the deep water. We got to see which one of these two wrestlers has the most gas in the tank. And we're going to find out right now. I give Medina the advantage right now. He's closest to the ropes to help him get to his feet. His feet are in the air, though. <laughs> Loving the energy from this crowd. Hours and hours of action. They're still alive for this main event matchup. Hey, listen, I've been around RCW for a while. The RCW crowd, they don't give up until it's time to go. Certainly not for our longest show in history. This is 20th <laughs> anniversary. Hour four now, I think, that we're working on. And both of these guys still bringing it, getting the crowd charged up. Sold out capacity crowd waiting to see if we're going to get a new RCW champion. Oh, and you can just see the pain in his face that Sledge has when he's still getting up. Still trying to get some life into those legs. Oh, 
Sledge Ma mocking the champion, uh, Gino Medina. It's mocking his heritage. It's mocking practically his family. His father works so closely with Eddie Guerrero in Mexico. Bicycle kick there from Sledge. And still Medina what did not fall. Basement drop kick. Going after the legs real smart. Oh wow, it's over. Hitting Sledge where it hurts. He's gotta be out of the seat. No, oh. he's not! What a lariat by Sledge! These two are giving it everything they've got. They know what's on the line. The RCW World Championship. Fans showing their appreciation for the labor put in by both of these guys. Sledge. Question mark quick kick. Is it enough? Shoulders are down. Two count. Just enough power to kick out. And also sent Gino Medina to the outside. No, he's under the ring. Oh, what is he going for? What is he doing oh, the, down there? there? Uh, there there's Sledge. a number of things that could be used as a, a weapon. Sledge wisely there's a wrench. The middle of the ring. I know there's chairs. Oh, he comes oh, up God, the well, there we go. His weapon of choice. The weapon of choice for Gina Medina. The red steel chair. La Silla Roja. The red seat. Oh, come on. Oh. I know you've given a lot of leeway, Vance, but you've got to take that chair away. Referee stepping yeah, in the middle, Vance but now Jackson the referee's going to no. be distracted. It's, it's too long. Look, Gino, this is definitely part of the plan. What is Gino going to do? Sledge just... Oh, he checked him. Oh, he fell to the outside. He fell to the floor. He went face first into the floor. Sledge picked up. Blue Thunderbomb. Blue Thunderbomb. No, New champ. No One, two, three, four. Here comes another here comes referee. referee. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Gino kicks close. out the crowd here at the Grand Event Center. It practically counted to 10, but only a referee showing up at 8, wow. unfortunately for Sledge. I'm glad we got that new ref, Nick Ward, back in the matchup now. Calling the action. Can Sledge do it again? Ripcord picks him up. Black hole slam! Oh, oh. But, but he hurt his knee. He came down hard. Came down hard on that knee. On the, on the leg that Medina has been working all match. It's got to be heartbreaking. Now doesn't have the power. Hooks the inside leg. Oh, Medina with the foot on the bottom rope. Smart. Chris, you got to hand it to the champion. By the champ. I, I really do have to hand it to the champion because I think a guy like Sledge, the RCW championship just might be the icing on the cake. I think this guy is just out to hurt people. I mean, I give, I give Medina a lot of credit for doing the smart thing and working that leg, working that knee so that Sledge oh, just it definitely wouldn't have off. the power. Sledge wants his own hardware. Match. Sledge just found his own weapon. He didn't win it yet. The RCW Heavyweight Championship. But Medina. Well, Medina going for the red chair. Oh, he's got the belt. Now Ward. Nick Ward, uh, here we say, go. The do not use be this. Distracted. Oh, and now oh, another, look at this! Slam! Oh, to oh. the knee! The chair to the knee! Oh! And to the leg! And to the face! My God! My God! And Medina into oh, the half crab! Again, but there's no referee! Again, but They've smart, taken out not, two! He's not going for the... He's not going for the pin. Smart move by Medina. Continues to work that leg. And now... Beth Jackson coming into the ring. Will Sledge tap? Will he tap? I think he has to. He's is, that, is, he out? is he out? Is he out? He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. For the bell. Passed out from the pain. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our winner and still RCW champion Gino. By any means necessary, the champ retains the gold here at RCW20, walking out victorious against Sledge.
important note.